Welcome back. The news and details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi directed to set up a modern integrated complex for workshops in El Amal City, east of Cairo. This came during the President's meeting on Monday with senior officials of the Engineering Authority, head of the National Roads Company and the Presidential Advisor of Urban Planning. Presidential spokesman Basim Radi said that the meeting tackled the executive situation of ongoing roads and axes projects nationwide. The head of state was updated on the latest developments of reclaiming 270,000 fedans in central and north Sinai. The current construction works of several facilities and services in the new administrative capital, especially Egypt's Islamic Cultural Center, were among the issues discussed during the meeting. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli inspected on Monday the vaccine factory built within the Vaxera factory complex in the 6th of October city. Madbouli followed up the ongoing preparations for operating the factory in the near future. Speaking during a press conference, Madbouli said that the huge project will produce eight main kinds of vaccines to serve citizens. He noted that the target is to produce three million doses of vaccines every day. He noted that the government has a plan to vaccinate all university students. The Premier also pointed out to President Abdel Fattah Hassisi's directives to accelerate the implementation pace of the project of the vaccine production complex. Medbouli also called on citizens to abide by the coronavirus precautionary measures amid expectations of a rising number of infections in the fourth wave of the pandemic. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri took part on Monday in a meeting of Libya's neighbors, foreign ministers held in Algeria. Ahead of the meeting, Shukri met with his Algerian counterpart, Ramatane Lamamra, for talks on bilateral relations to, and to coordinate stances on regional issues of mutual concern. Shukri also discussed with the UN Special Envoy to Libya, Jan Kubis, the implementation of a comprehensive political settlement in Libya. Egypt's participation in the, the Libya's neighbors meeting is part of efforts to support the Libyan people and back a political settlement for the Libyan crisis in a way that unifies its national institutions under the agreed-upon roadmap. Under the roadmap, the Libya elections are to be held on December 24th. The meeting also covers measures to fight terrorism on Libya, halt violence and end the presence of foreign troops and mercenaries in Libya. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas held talks with Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz in Ramallah, the first high-level meeting between the two sides.